free man. For his family too, a terrible burden is lifted. Meet the chimp who made history. His name's Ham, and his epic journey began at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Months of training had prepared him not only to feel at ease in his space capsule, but also to operate a series of buttons to control his own comfort and to relay information back to base. A redstone rocket was used to carry him out of the Earth's atmosphere. And so the first stage begins. We might call it Ham and Exit. The best laid plans of mice, men and monkeys often go astray, and in this case the boosters carried the rocket further than they should. Here in diagram, the capsule separates. It took Ham a thousand miles an hour faster than anticipated, rocketing him 155 miles up, paving the way for humans who will someday follow. Down the space range he drifted, parachuting 130 miles beyond the scheduled landing zone. Consequently, he was in the Atlantic longer than expected. Rescue vessels rushed to the scene while a helicopter retrieved Ham's capsule, leaking slightly after impact. Our intrepid hero had done everything he should, performing his task perfectly. And the question everyone now asked in these exciting moments was how had he survived it? First reports were soon confirmed by the doctors. The astro chimp seemed none the worse, except for a bruise on his nose. He just said, howdy man. Like I said, man, this space travel sure sends you. It's never been easy 